Some think I should have added these units into the cavalry video, but I believe they deserve one on their own. Let's talk about large units and war hounds for good measure. Elephants are such a powerful weapon for any army. They can be what changes the tides in any battle. Possessing the scare trait, along with their incredible mass, a rare charge from these lads can rout an exhausted blob of enemies within seconds. If you can repeatedly perform rear charges with an elephant unit, the battle is already yours. The trick is to actually do this. This is because the morale of elephant units are extremely low. Of course, the more expensive the unit is, the better morale and stats. But just to give you an example of how atrocious it really is, we will take the Indian elephants for the Seleucids. It is the cheapest of the bunch, barely costing less than 4k. Its morale is only at 36, which easily will be lowered in combat due to their low armor at 4. To compare this, we can take the Golic Clubman for the Averni. It is their weakest melee unit, costing less than 400, 10 times less than the elephants. But still, their morale is almost the same at 33, just 3 less than the elephants. This is abysmal for a unit as expensive as they are. Obviously, this wouldn't matter too much in a regular campaign so long you can have enough gold. But not necessarily if you are playing a head to head or another form of multiplayer. Another problem regarding their morale is that once it reaches a certain level, the elephants will go amok, potentially killing your own units. This is why there also is a kill elephants button. Personally, I've never been in a situation where this was actually necessary, because either they were about to die anyway, or just returned back to my control to still be effective afterwards. What I'm trying to get at is that if you want elephants in your army, you might as well go all in and invest the 600 extra gold. However, if you aren't keen on that, it is better to overall just focus on a better army instead. To quote what the text says about the Syrian war elephants, size really does matter. It is worth paying extra for big things. In multiplayer, they are available to 10 factions Bactria, Carthage, Epirus, Badawi, Basesli, Moria, Egypt, Rome and the Seleucids. And as I've already said, elephants are best suited for rear charges, I should probably also tell they are better kept safe behind their lines till it is safe for them to get behind the enemies. The same can also be said about chariots, although they have a slightly different playstyle. Way more fragile than their elephant counterparts, they are still around the same price range. This is purely because they still have the same level of potential as the elephants. There are two types worth noticing. The Scythe Chariots and the Unscythe Chariots. You know which version it is by looking at the name. Apart from the Carthaginian Chariots, as they have Scythes too. The Unscythe version are the least effective ones, which prefer to act as a form of horse archer unit that can make a deadly rear charge that knocks down enemies. But the Scythe version can also perform frontal charges. Of course, not against the most elite units, but still most. All you need to do really is do the bullshit trick called pull the units through the enemy lines. And as this is a chariot with a high mass and the knockdown effect, this is possible. Personally, I've never tried this myself, but I know my good friend Sumari has performed this on a regular basis. But he most likely also knows the AI better than CA does, so who knows if we regulars can do this too. But as mentioned, chariots are extremely nimble, making them vulnerable to everything being charged, shot at, and probably also just by being looked at. It sure feels like that sometimes. Nevertheless, depending on whether you want to do frontal charges, rear charges, or skirmish on the edges, you can deploy your chariots wherever you want to. Personally, I would still place them in behind your own lines, as that way they are at least safe. Chariots are only available to the following factions, Carthage, Iberio, Galatia, Iceni, Medewi, Moria, Nervii, Pontus, Saba, and the Seleucids. Now for the final unit of this video, and also the one that many seems to underestimate in campaigns. Only available to the Boii, Scordisi, and Romans. Well, in custom battles, they're probably also available in every recruitment form. The War Dogs, they are these incredible cheap bastards that probably are the most cost effective unit in the game. Costing no more than 600. Not even 300 for the Romans, but they're also weaker. This unit can wrap up kills around 300 to 400 continuously. And it is not just 
light infantry and archers I'm talking about here, but rather expensive pikemen or horse archers. I've found this to be the case due to the whack AI not actually engaging the war dogs and will just passively get slaughtered. The broken thing about this too is that the dogs, which are the ones doing all the damage, can get killed with no cost so long the animal handlers survive. It is only the handlers that need to get replenished on the campaign map, meaning this is a population free killing machine. Especially against the Greeks. That's probably why the Scotici have them. Just remember that once you've released the dogs, they are out of your control. You may be able to pick their first target, but after that they focus on whatever is closest to them. Possibly even already shattered units, which can be quite annoying if you were relying on them to do more than just take out a single enemy. But that is a great way to balance this unit type. Overall I would say if an enemy army with pikes is attacking, you might as well put the war dogs ahead of your frontline, so you can exploit their lack of will to engage your dogs. If not, I would probably use them as a tool on the flanks to help grant you that edge so your cavalry can be even more decisive than they already are. Due to how they work with their first target being locked, you can even use war dogs as a way to snipe the enemy general. He can't run forever, right? I'm not gonna say any more than that. If you folks have anything to add, something I missed, and so on, please add it in the comments below. But until the next time everyone, goodbye.